Swahili. Oh, it feels so wonderful to be back home in Baltimore. Well, I guess you didn't see that triple homicide on the news this morning. Daddy, you're harshing my mellow. <laughs> well, um, ba, I dare see be con co jo. That's a loose translation in Yoruba for sit your butt down, eat your breakfast. But, Mommy, I'm too excited to eat. I gotta go surprise Spirit and Arnez and tell them that I'm back and that their boring little lives are gonna be meaningful again. <laughs> All right. Now that the child is gone, can we discuss the house rules for squatters, vagabonds, and the generally undesirable? <laughs> Rule number one, no more whale music at night. Man, what is with the... <laughs> <laughs> sound of a killer whale is what helps me sleep. Yeah, well, so could a well-placed harpoon. Well, if I can recall, that's the sound that you used to make when you used to reach a romantic peak. Just tell me when you're gonna get a job. Well, Flex, as you know, Baltimore is a water-based society with various points gracing the Chesapeake Bay. You know, you used to be so hot before all that book learning. And you used to be even hotter when I was ignorant. Now, focus. Now, I'm gonna be circulating my resume to all the places befitting a woman with a PhD, and then I'm gonna find a very big, fabulous place to live. Oh, how about fabulous and far away? <laughs> Come on, Flex, now you're lucky. You don't have to start all over again. No, no, I don't. They've been keeping my seat warm down to WYNX, and do you wanna know why? Because I have something called likability. <laughs> See, when, when people like you, they want to keep you around. And uh, when they don't, <laughs> well, you've lived the rest. Sometimes in the snow, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't trust no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Captain, your flat hat man is back. <laughs> and now that I've got the sheen of a guy who almost made it to the pros again, we need to renegotiate. But don't worry, I ain't gonna stick it to you. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, awfully nice of you, little Flexi. Give me a chance to stick it to you first. <laughs> oh, you're no longer lead sports anchor. You've been bumped. What? By who? Hey, Flex, you're in my spot. <laughs> Visitor parking is on level two. Visitor parking? You can't fire me. Oh, technically I can, but I haven't. You see, when you ran off to pursue your hoop dreams, you left the WYNX team without a star player. But Stacy said I could have the time off. Yeah, that's right. That's why I'm giving Stacy some time off. <laughs> but, but Danny, why him? Oh, because he's ruthless. He's hardworking. And he's my wife's little brother. <laughs> but when he got wind of the oldest rookie in the NBA story, he was on the first plane out to LA. That story was about me. <laughs> Yeah, like, don't worry, the irony wasn't lost on us either. Uh, but hey, maybe you could fill in for me on a day or two. I, uh, call in sick on spa days. Ciao, Bella. I don't have to take this. Every station in Baltimore is gonna be knocking on my door, because I have likability. You also have a non-compete clause. Yeah. <laughs> so your contract states that you can't work at a local media outlet for a year if you quit. I'm not intimidated by your binding contracts, your legal technicalities. Yeah, my million-dollar lawsuits. <laughs> a man dares to pursue his dreams and loses his job? This is not the America that I want to live in. No, but it's still the land of opportunity, pal. And lucky for you, our weatherman is retiring. El Nino Gonzalez? <laughs> I thought he died months ago. Yeah, we did too. Well, you never shake the sound of a man screaming in his own coffin. Hey, man, I do sports. I don't do weather, and I'll never do weather. So if there's no position open in sports, then there's no position for me. Uh, th this is where you say, I'm sorry you're back in sports? Oh, I'm sorry. You're... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey. Brianna, I 
I can rock this Gucci purse and you can rock this Prada purse. Oh, you are the worst Brianna ever, Ray Ray. You need to go inside and practice. Then remember, it's <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. And you and our nest can start your new life as a couple. <laughs> oh no! I kissed him. I can't ever see our nest again after a kiss like that. But why? Because that was our goodbye forever kiss. Our Titanic kiss. The, the music swells, he slips into the ocean, he dies with a band, and my heart goes on. <laughs> he lives next door to me. You're gonna see him sooner or later. But everything has changed. I rocked one on him. No, two. And I don't think you learned that practicing on your pillow. So I at least need to know how he feels about our kiss. So what are you gonna do? Uh-uh, no, no. What are we gonna do? Oh, girl, I miss your scheme away so much. <laughs> now, one lawyer in Baltimore can get me out of that non-compete contract. Well, there's one, but I got to rear end somebody and wear a neck brace for a week. And I've checked everywhere. Nobody's hiring. Can't believe I quit my job. At least we're not like other unemployed people. We got skills. <laughs> you know what? You are right. I mean, we can find a job in no time. No doubt. The, the, the phones is gonna be ringing off the hook. Bling! <laughs> <laughs> is it on? <laughs> okay, this is it. Here comes our nest. Now, when he gets here, be sure to be real subtle about the kiss, okay? Okay. Hey, our uh, So how about that kiss yesterday, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was a kiss I've been dreaming about my whole life. I miss Brianna so much. Sometimes I think I'm seeing her. <laughs> you got it bad. Uh, but maybe she's closer than you think. A lot closer. Yeah, well, uh, I gotta go. See you around. Okay. How come you didn't come out? Girl, are you kidding? I'm gonna make him miss me more so he'll want me more. Now that I know Arnaz can't function without the soft touch of my tender kiss. <laughs> Are you going? Nowhere. Yet. But I'm acting as if. You see, if I dress for work, I'll get work. It's called Manifest Destiny. <laughs> and that's Destiny calling right now. <laughs> Nicole Barnes, PhD. Hello! Destiny calling for Mr. Carol Barnes, PhD. That is not funny, Flex. This is hard for me. I've always had a job. Even when I was 18 and pregnant with Brianna, I was paid to be the poster girl for babies having babies. Don't let it happen to you. Look, girl, you need to get over it. You knew there was no job security in whale watching. They're an endangered species, for God's sake. They go, you go. Well, what about you, Mr. Flat Hat Man? Don't nobody want you, do they? What do they? Do what they? What no. What <laughs> Oh, how the bourgeoisie have fallen. <laughs> For once, you two are down and out, and I am the symbol of success and prosperity. Then why aren't you at work? Well, uh, my boss down at the used car lot gave me a couple days off to prepare for my annual evaluation. Oh, I'm sorry, that's employed people talk. <laughs> See, uh, in laid off people terms, I'm just studying to become the lot manager. Dang, Nicole, we suck. Dwayne's doing better than us. Well, it's okay, honey. It thinks it get better. You want a hug? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll give you a little hug. Oh, look at you two, comforting each other. <laughs> you two stay jobless much longer. I won't be surprised if I'm the best man at your wedding again, and there's another bundle of joy running around up in here. <laughs> hey, 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 where you going? Uh, to let El Nino back in his casket. <laughs> Bring your umbrellas to work tomorrow. It might rain. <laughs> Today's weather question comes from Margaret Kurtz of Towson. Flex, my bridge club loves watching you do the weather. 
Why, thank you. <laughs> Could we see if your back is as sexy as your front? <laughs> Man, what does that have to do with the weather? That's your local weather forecast, and I'm your weatherman. Flex, chocolate thunder. <laughs> Very funny, Charlie. That was nice work, Flex. Really. Top of the next hour, I'll wear spandex. All right, I, you've won. I, I've accepted my position as weather slut. Hey, uh, weather slut. Could you? Tidy up the desk a little. Um, see, I gotta go. I'm off to play 18 holes with Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan in some charity thing today. Wait, wait, wait. I, I set that up. They're supposed to be teeing off with me. Uh, no, actually, they're supposed to be teeing off with the lead sports anchor, and that would be, um, me. <laughs> Smite him. You need to get over there and claim your man. Look at her, crawling all over him like a spider with a big old butt. <laughs> see, that's what you see. All I see is part two of my plan. Arnaz being so into me, he rebukes the hoochie. Now, all I have to do is get over there and hear it for myself. Hey, I got an idea. Hey, Ray Ray. <laughs> PhD thing on my resume? Yeah, that's a typo. <laughs> it's supposed to be GED. <laughs> yeah, I'm as dumb as a stump. <laughs> I need to be a job. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I have been up all night studying. Nicole, look, ask me any question out of this book. Dwayne, I really don't have time for this. See, all that attitude gonna keep you from getting a job. <laughs> At least Flex has likability. Make me like you. Make me not smack you. Come on, Nicole, you're my best friend's ex-wife. Let's, let's not get freaky. What's up, D? You get a job yet, Nicole? No, chocolate thunder. And it's sunny. You said that it was gonna be rainy. Well, I got a forecast for you. Get a job. <laughs> Ooh, it's Hurricane Flex. Batten down the hatches, board up the windows. There's a lot of hot air blowing. Right up, yo. Woo! <laughs> there it is right there, that old passion. <laughs> you two keep this up, and angry sex is sure to follow. Shut, Shut up! up. <laughs> what? You got a crappy job, right? How do you get up every morning without wanting to throw yourself in front of a train? Hey, easy, all right? See, I get up every morning knowing that by the end of the day, I'm gonna make somebody smile. By selling them a pinto with a backseat made of Legos? Hey, Flex, you got a job. You're a weatherman. You get to lie to millions of people every day and they keep coming back. Dog, that's the American dream. <laughs> Girl, this car's so funky, I'm about to black out from the fumes. Knock it up, go on a mission. <laughs> no, there's a fair going on at Druid Hill. And I heard the haunted house is real dark and scary. And I need someone to hold on to. So, you want to go? I'm not really in the mood for big crowds. See? He's rebuking. He's rebuking. <laughs> Ever since Brianna left, I've been kind of down. Me too. Oh, I miss her so. <laughs> but at least we have each other. Thanks, Ginger. You're a good friend. Let's go hang out at the mall. I don't love the mall. See? Now he's passed my test. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Swear he wouldn't leave his cart in front of my building. <laughs> So let your smiles be your umbrellas because there aren't any clouds in sight. And for Maggie Kurtz and her bridge club, I am Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie, and thank you. We'll be back at the top of the hour. And we're out. Flex, that's one of the best weather broadcasts I've ever seen. Oh, thanks, Hank. You know, I am just happy to be part of the team. <laughs> hey, bro-in-law? A word? I just got this memo that you're sending me to that fishing contest on Sharp Island. Oh, yeah, yeah. The tournament. Yeah. That should be a blast. I cover athletes, not 
fish. Hey, hey, why don't I do the weather from the tournament? It might be kind of fun to have the winner of the contest co-host with me. I mean, after all, I am the bass man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> I like your attitude. I'm like Danny here. Danny, let's go talk about your future in my office. Uh, Danny, likability. <laughs> Chef Boy R.D.? Close, Chef Bro R.D. <laughs> ah, very funny. This is an apology to your mother. Wait a minute. Cooking and apology all in one day. Did the doctor call? Am I dying? <laughs> very funny. But thanks to our good friend, Dwayne, I got a new attitude and my old job back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Daddy. Uh, thanks, hey, don't waste all those hugs over there. Mommy's got a new job, too. You're looking at the new research director for the Save the Oceans United League. S-O-U-L. So! <laughs> See, now I'm helping marine life by going straight to the source. So everything is going to be perfect. Oh, congratulations, Mommy. Oh, thank you. Ooh, and I've got even better news. Brianna and I are going to be living it up in a spacious apartment in Bolton Hill. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You and Brianna get an apartment? We never talked about that. You actually thought that since I got a job in Baltimore that the living arrangements weren't going to change? Yeah, things are great the way they are. No, no, they're not. But, Flex, I'm not going to argue with you. We'll let Brianna decide. Baby, <laughs> now who would you rather live with, Mommy or Daddy? Now, take your time, you know? Nobody's going to get upset. <laughs> OK, Daddy. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, I'm fine. You know, if you rather live here, then here is where you'll stay. We could spend the weekends together. Oh, thank you, Mommy, for understanding. Okay. And for giving me life. <laughs> I'll see you later. Good night, baby. Oh, wow. Nicole, that was probably the most mature thing that you've ever done. Our relationship is moving to a new level. I hate you! <laughs> against me. Nicole, be reasonable. Look, see, you're like broccoli. Healthy, good for you, but people have to pour cheese all over you just to choke you down. <laughs> see, I'm like chocolate cake. I go down pretty easy, and I'm good for your hips. Don't feel so sure of yourself, Lex. The only reason why I went along with this is because I didn't want to end up being mean mom. I know a trap when I see one. Oh, please, Nicole, ain't nobody trying to trap you. Oh, I beg to differ. <laughs> I'm on to you, Flex. See, you're the fun parent, but not for long, okay? This is my chance to be the fun parent. So while you're setting curfews and imposing punishments, I'm going to be mommy good guy. <laughs> you see, I'm having fun already. This place you're moving into, uh, padded walls, right? <laughs> Brianna, I'm so happy to see you. I've been lost in the hot seat. When did you get back? Well, it's a long story, but all that matters is that I'm here now. I'm glad you never went anywhere. Brianna, I know you never left. <laughs> Brianna, why do you keep playing games in my heart? It wasn't a game. It was a test. Brianna, I'm a musician. Elvis wasn't good at tests, and neither am I. <laughs> I think it's best we stay friends. But, ready to go, boo? Who? Yeah, I'm with Ginger now. Shouldn't play games. Welcome back, Bree Bree. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I blew his spirit. I am never gonna like another boy again, Daddy. I wish all boys were more like you. There's nobody like me, sweetie. I'm an original. <laughs> I thought our nest was an original. <laughs> Stop messing with me. Okay, well, this is the last of it. I'll walk you out, Ma. Okay. Well, take care, Nicole. I wish you well. Whatever, Flex. <laughs> 
Tina Turner. She goes, she goes, she goes, she goes. I'm gonna miss her so much. Thanks for walking me to my door. See you later. Well, I just wanted to make sure you got home safely. <laughs> so that's why you follow me all the way home in your car after our date. <laughs> well, I'm home now. I'm going to go inside, lock the door, and be even safer. Uh, Max, now, don't you want to invite me in for a glass of wine or a sip of me? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't think we really know each other that well. I mean, you're a nice girl, but uh, maybe we should just be friends. Are you gay? <laughs> Just because I want to get to know you before we get to the bedroom boogie means the brother's got to be gay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> now go home and marinate on that. <laughs> Am I gay? Oh, hey, Flex. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just getting some of my stuff out of your fridge. Man, what is wrong with all the women out there? She had her hands all over me like she was an octopus with lipstick and eyeliner and ability to suck me through a straw. <laughs> Man, I know what you're saying. <laughs> no, I don't. I know I haven't been on the dating scene in a while, but all these women want is sex, sex, sex. Man, I know what you mean. <laughs> no, I don't. I just wish I could be around women who want to grope my mind and not my body. Man, what's going on with you, Flex? Just want to talk more, hold hands, share a fresca. Are you gay? <laughs> no, man. Natalie just spoiled me, that's all. What we had was more than physical. You know, we connected on a deeper level. Well, speaking of Natalie, where are my wieners? <laughs> Dwayne, your fridge has been on the blink for over a month, man. When you gonna stop being so cheap and buying your new? Well, is it all right with you if I run a power cord from my fridge to your apartment? No! Well, then, uh, there goes my microwave. Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. my advice and bought yourself a fridge. With this new fridge, I will have everything I need in my apartment, and I won't have to keep coming over to your place for stuff. So, uh, let me just... <laughs> Dwayne, man, come... Dwayne, why are you trying to move this by yourself? You should have had it delivered. What, for 15 bucks? <laughs> I'm taking that money and filling the freezer with pizza purses. <laughs> it tastes like Hot Pockets, but twice the calories, half the price. Tilt it down. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, easy now, here, here we go. Back it up. Back, Back it up. What the? The witch has just stuck your sister in the oven. Give me that. You not gonna bake me? Look, okay? <laughs> Brianna, what in the name of Hansel and Gretel is going on here? We're making a Mac Daddies of the World calendar to raise money to go to the National Cheerleading Conference in Orlando. Mr. Washington, they're exploiting young men to further their own interests. It's shameful. <laughs> oh, please, you just mad because you not in the calendar. No, I'm just mad because those pecs have never seen a gym. Brianna, spirit, exploiting someone because of their looks, profiting off of these bare-chested, half-naked boys? And there's a name for this. Yeah, heaven. <laughs> no, objectification. Now, get out of here, all of you, get out of here. Hurry up, man. Get, come on, get out of here. Looking like a ghetto voodoo doll. Come on. <laughs> Wait, me too? We're practically family. Son, if you were my family, I'd take a chainsaw to the family tree. Now get out of here. <laughs> this is ridiculous, raising money off of someone's looks. Now, who gave you this shallow idea? The president of the PTA taught us to use our imaginations to create a profitable business model. Spirit, your mother's the president of the PTA, right? Is she? Brianna, why didn't you say something? <laughs> well, I'm going to the next PTA meeting and give Leilani a piece of my mind. 
And Brianna, if I catch you shooting centerfolds again, you're gonna be grounded for so long, you're gonna need pictures to remember what boys look like. <laughs> Man, what are we gonna do now? Well, don't panic. At least we still have- You ain't got nothing! <laughs> Oranges in the crisper, in the crisper, in the crisper. Put the meat on the next shelf up because it's climate control. Oh. Oh, the master falling down. Staring at me. We're just happy to see a man here. <laughs> Where are all the other fathers? <laughs> They're great. They're all busy working, watching TV, or scratching something. <laughs> Greetings, fellow PTAers. Oh, oh, I see a visitor among us. What brings you by Flex Washington? Lose your way to a peep show? <laughs> well, actually, I heard you were here, so it's more like a creep show. <laughs> but seriously, I'm here because I'm concerned about my daughter. Oh, thank sweet. you, thank you. I'm just one man in the village. <laughs> yes, the village idiot. <laughs> Look, late loony. I'm here about the Mac Daddy to the world calendar. Now, there has to be a better way to raise money. What about a bakes here? I mean, it's, it's, it's very simple and it's a little over here. See, that's just the kind of sexist thinking that keeps women oppressed. I would expect that from you, young girls in the kitchen slaving to make treats for men. No siree, Barbara, not on my watch. Look, I mean, I'm not being sexist, I'm just trying to help. Now, what about another car wash? Okay. You just want an excuse to bring back those girls gone wild that you brought to last year's car wash so they can shake their chamois. Granted, that was an unorthodox way to raise an unprecedented $5,000. Wow. But I have evolved. And now I celebrate all that is woman. Uh, maybe the calendar isn't the best idea. Maybe Flex is right. Flex is never right. <laughs> hey, Lonnie, calm down. He is just trying to be involved like the rest of us. And it's nice to see a father finally joining the PTA. That's right. Oh, uh -huh. maybe you'd like to see Flex for president. I second. You're here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, ladies, ladies, Leilani is the president. I'm just a man who, when he looks into his daughter's eyes, sees a thousand tomorrows. <laughs> President of the PTA in High Karate Cologne. my brothers. Don't sell your soul to these pimps with pom-poms. Arnaz, what are you doing? I'm the president of a new organization called Black. Boys lobbying against calendars. Okay? Well, if you're president, shouldn't it be called Half Black? Let's roll. B-L-A-C-K. Calendars are not the way. If you want to show your body, do it at our pool party. Okay? <laughs> Come on, Brianna, let's just put Arnaz in the calendar. He's going to ruin us. Look, I'm not going to feed his ego and advertise those new, big, muscular, bronzy arms. <laughs> Are you sure you're not just mad because you just decided to be friends and now he's the hottest guy in school? Girl, you know that's the reason. Why you always got to throw it in my face? <laughs> Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have pizza purses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh! Oh, wait. If I make enough noise, someone will hear me and rescue me! Uh-oh. Grandpa's ashes. Okay, ladies, the orange bliss is ready. Now we can begin our meeting on how to get the girls to Orlando. Yep. Yes, yes. Flex, what is this delicious elixir? It's seven up, a splash of Hawaiian punch, and a skosh of orange sherbet mixed together. Yeah. My ex used to make it. She taught me how to skosh. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happened to you two? You know, you can dish with us, Flex. That our teacher gave my son a C. Mm. <laughs> well, you know, we just went right for each other. She was yin, I was yang. She did her thing, I did my thing. <laughs> Anyway, let's get those girls to Orlando. Now, I had some ideas. I was leaning more towards a raffle. What do you think we should give away? How about a flat screen TV? That's the only thing my husband looks at when he gets home. <laughs> what do you think, Flex? Is her husband a creep? Well, he's watching it, not sleeping with it. <laughs> Why don't you let your husband come in the house, sit down for 30 minutes and watch television before talking to him? You know, it might give him a chance to cool off after work. You know, it's really nice having a man's perspective on things. Sure is. My husband doesn't find me attractive anymore. What should I do? Maybe he's bored. You know, try to spice things up a bit. Role play and dress up for a night of passion. Get a hotel room, girl. <laughs> that seems so tawdry, like you're having an affair. An affair? with each other. Oh. <laughs> and now back to the cheerleaders. Now I think they need new uniforms. Oh, the so. cheerleaders can wait. Now back to this hotel thing. <laughs> you think I should use an accent? Can you be a Jamaican nanny with a rude little chat? <laughs> <laughs> you know what you are to us, Flex. You're our own personal love doctor. <laughs> Ladies, I'm just the president of your local PTA. And you love doctor. <laughs> that's right, Alicia. That's a good question. Good question. So we need to sell 7,000 more raffle tickets before we can send the cheerleaders to Orlando. Sis, boom, and bye. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, Lynn. Cheryl found some dinner receipts in her husband's pocket. What should she do? <laughs> Ladies, you know, if you want to ask a love doctor a question, you have to buy three raffle tickets. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 what's going on here? Uh, just raising money while spreading a little PTA more. <laughs> now, uh, back to show. Those dinner receipts you found probably mean nothing. But if you don't ask, you'll only be dining with Mr. Nile. Mr. D. Nile. <laughs> Next question. No, 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 no. What? What's wrong with you people? Don't you know that there's no room for caring at the PTA? Lady Lonnie, look. Now, a good president is good at multitasking. Now, I've raised a lot of money and saved seven marriages. Yes. Multitasking. <laughs> you give me that, my PTA! You give me that! Lonnie! 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 You traitors! You Benedict Arnold! See, ladies, that is the perfect example of a woman who is having dinner with Mr. Delusional. <laughs> no wonder I haven't seen Dwayne in so long. He and Candy sounds like they're having fun. <laughs> Hello? Leilani? Calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm on my way there. Okay, bye. <gasps> my man. You need to cater to your husband's needs. You need to give him a moment to unwind when he gets home from work. The best way to find out what's on your husband's mind is to ask him. You believe it. <laughs> He's telling your wives how to treat you. Uh-oh, he got more control over them than you do. Well, that doesn't sound good, does it, fellas? Oh, no, that's not right. 
Yes, murmur on. Murmur your knee to destroy Flex Washington. That's right. And there he is. The man who's turning your wives against you. Get him. Get him. Hey, Lottie, I knew you wanted the PTA back, but to call in a false love emergency, now that's just a shame. I'm not trying to turn your wives against you. Did you tell Cheryl she was having dinner with some guy named D? Uh, what's the last name? Niall. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you're Cheryl's husband. Uh, you should really be home with your wife and kids. Didn't little Edgar have his first football game today? Now, I'm sure he wants to tell you all about it. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you can't pull a mind trick on me like you did with our wives, you, you. Social Spingali? Yeah, social sponge jelly. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just saying, your families feel like you've abandoned them. And you guys are, are the stitching that keeps the family quilt together. Now, without you, they're just a bunch of cloth strips that don't even match. But I want them to match. <laughs> Maybe when you get home, you can do a little mending. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Maybe you should all go home and do a little mending. Oh, yeah. Yes, come on, guys, come on. Come on. Come on. I, but first, but first. Show your wives how much you care by buying a raffle ticket, y'all. <laughs>
But Daddy, I was being an entrepreneur. That's not fair. Don't you stomp your feet at me, little lady. <laughs> no, there's a trail of ants. Oh, marching right <laughs> into Dwayne's apartment. Did you hear that? The ants, the ants are killing me. <laughs> Help, I ain't want to die this way. Uh, Wayne? Uh, Where you at? Over here. Man, how long have you been here? Long enough to know that pizza purses hatch after two days. <laughs> A flex? Huh? If you could. <laughs> No, Dad, I got the taxes for the barbershop covered. I'm gonna file an extension. An extension? I ought to take an extension cord to your behind. <laughs> uh, Dad, you're, you're breaking up. Crumpling papers. Son, I was born cute, not crazy. Eunice, cash out. We going home. <laughs> <sighs> what are you doing with my loofah? It's a science project for school. <laughs> I was hoping some of your leftover funk includes bacteria. Okay, I pride myself in being bacteria free. Now give me that. Get yourself a real project. It requires a little bit of effort. You wouldn't say that if you knew how much effort it took for me to pry that from your bathtub. <laughs> Besides, science projects are for scientists. I am an actress. Darius says I'm an artiste. Oh, more wisdom from that acting teacher, huh? Was it Darius who also told you to uh, get another ear piercing? Huh? Huh? I knew you was hiding something. I was born cute, not crazy. But Darius says that artists should always find new ways to express themselves. OK, let me try expressing myself. Give me that earring. OK. <laughs> oh, 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 you're not going to school without eating breakfast? Oatmeal. Daddy, Darius says carbs stifle creativity. Oh, that's because he's a teacher and he's not making enough money to afford carbs. Stop hating on Darius, Daddy. And anyway, instant oatmeal? I think as an artist, my character would eat, like, organic... Just eat it! <laughs> and scene. I gotta go. Wait, it's freezing outside. Where's your goose down coat? Hello? This outfit with this face? I'm too cute for that coat. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. They said on the radio that it's going to be a blizzard. So you're putting the coat on. And you're taking these cable chains over to Sporty so they can put them on for you. And here's 20 bucks. Why did I even get out of bed this morning? To study at the feet of the great non-acting actor, Darius. You know the saying? Those who can't do, teach. No, no, no. Those who can't do are daddies. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all right. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then Why don't you love where you're from? Maybe you can get some more Maybe one, 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 uh, one, 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 one Can't nobody break this bond Maybe one, 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 uh, those are Brianna's. No! I found them first. <laughs> nah, man, she ditched them there. And why does she insist on defying me? Lately, all we've been doing is button heads. <laughs> you said butt. <laughs> Not now, Dwayne. Do you know she went out and got another ear piercing? Thought she could hide it from me. Like I was born crazy, not cute. Man, you're starting to sound like your dad. I, mean, I don't sound anything like my dad. My dad sounds like this. Ow, man. <laughs> And she's been disobeying me. Lately, everything's about Darius. Darius says this. Darius says that. Who's Darius? Some 20-year-old ex-con still in school for the free lunch? <laughs> it's her drama teacher, man. Man, worse. Some state employee who's allowed to fill your daughter's head with some quasi-curriculum he learned in community college? He went to Juilliard. Oh, worse. Some spoiled, overeducated no, brother. shut up. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I do sound like my dad. Ever since Brianna started taking this acting class, it's been nothing but drama between us. Yeah, I remember my first acting teacher. Met him at a nightclub. He had me audition for him in his basement. Uh, are you sure that was a legitimate acting teacher? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, he had a video camera and everything. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go down to her school with her cables and coat and let her know that I know she's defying me. Then maybe I can run into that Darius. Dog, he's just a teacher. Yeah, so is that guy video of you in the basement. <laughs> he said it was an educational film. <laughs> can tell me who Konstantin Stanislavski is? That is that foreign exchange student with the unibrow. <laughs> OK, check this out. Who's heard of James Dean or Shirley MacLaine, Marlon Brando? I, my man Vin Diesel? Yeah! <laughs> good, good, good. Not him. <laughs> but all the greats study Stanislavski, and he writes, everyone at every minute of his life, must feel something. There can be no true art without living. So what was dude really trying to say? Brianna. Well, Darius, I believe Stanislavski was trying to say that true art comes from feelings and feelings come from life. Yes, there you go. Mm. Ooh, girl, you got the squeeze. <laughs> Lucky, cause he is so fine. But do you think he's too old for us? <laughs> well, I don't even think of him that way. Darius is a mentor, a sage. True, he has the body of a Greek god in the face of an angel. <laughs> but more importantly, he is deep in my understanding of the craft of acting. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, look, look, you're picking a pencil. You are the best used car salesman ever, Dwayne. <laughs> and nothing will hold you back. Not your height, not your weight, not your dead tooth. <laughs> you will sell, 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 baby! <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Big Sal. Well, you're closing up early. <laughs> but Sal, baby, I can sell a snowplow in the desert. <laughs> yeah, I know there's no snow in the desert. That was an irony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, you're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> Snow day! <laughs> what the devil? They done caught the mad cow. I'm Darius Farrell. I'm Flex Washington, Brianna's father. <laughs> We're just doing some warm-up exercises to loosen everyone up. Get the creative juices flowing. Now, can you turn the hose on this one here? You know you're welcome to stay and watch the class. I love when parents come and observe. Okay, kids, good job. Good commitment to the exercise. We're all ready. Uh, Brianna, he said your little acting exercise is over. I know, but I like to stay in character. So why are you here? Uh, because you dropped your coat and cables in the hallway behind the planter. Now, that's three days in a row, young lady, that you've blatantly ignored me after I've asked you to do something. Why? And scene! <laughs> that was so good, Daddy. <laughs> um, can we talk about this when we get home? Well, Darius has invited me to stay and observe the class. Right here, right where we <laughs> What's poppin', D-Moore? It's your boy, Papa Time, here at WDCJ. What's up, Papa? Are you snowed in like I am? Uh-huh. We all are. The city's paralyzed, so if you're waiting for someone to come home, they ain't coming home. You mean I'm alone? <laughs> hey, Flex! Flex! Is anybody home? Flex. Anybody? Hello? Hello? Hola? <laughs> you who? If there's anybody here, please say something! <laughs> oh, there's nobody here. I'm all alone. I don't do well alone. <laughs> This is since memory work. So think about the last time you were scared. Did the hairs raise up on the back of your neck? Did you get goosebumps? Did you want to scream? I want to scream. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. If you're supposed to be teaching an acting class, what happened to the classics? Hamlet, Death of a Salesman, 
Superfly. Stop it, Daddy. Your attention, please. Due to the heavy snowfall, McKinley is canceling all after-school programs. Oh, that's it. We're out of here. But, Dad, wait. Some of the students were going to stay after school and work on some monologues with Darius. Darius is keeping kids after school in the middle of a snowstorm? Oh, that is pretty irresponsible. I'm taking you home. I need to know you're safe while I'm at work. Statistically speaking, Mr. Washington, you're safer at school than in your own home. I've seen your home spirit. You are safer here. <laughs> but even still, you and Inez, grab your things. You're coming with me. Cool. Before we get home, can we swing by the guitar store? And the library. Ooh, and McDonald's. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, Arnez, <laughs> I forgot. You gotta stay here. Car's full. It's just three of you. It's full. <laughs> Flex Washington. Son, I've been thinking. We need to sell the barbershop as soon as possible so we can put off paying the taxes as long as possible. <laughs> But, Dad, the real estate guy says, you don't need to worry about what the real estate guy says. You need to worry about what I say. Slap yourself in the head for that. Attention, McKinley. The following is a snow update. All roads are closed until snowplows can make them accessible. Students and faculty, please report to the gym. All right, sweetie, I'm going to get to the truck. I'll be right back. But, Daddy, wait, I don't want to go. They just said all the roads are closed, and Darius says... Now, you don't can... need to worry about what Darius says. You need to worry about what I say. And I'm saying this worthless acting class isn't as important as your safety. Darius doesn't know everything. Now, get your things. And out into the storm of life he goes. <laughs> what does that mean? He'll be back. <laughs> Darius said you'd be back. Darius knows everything. Hey, Geraldine? Uh, yes, Flex. So I'm stuck down at my daughter's school. Who's gonna come get me? Nobody? Uh, you mean nobody wants to do the news without me? <laughs> they all wanna come down here and do it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, that's, that's not safe. Uh, uh, I think it's best that, that I stay here. Uh-huh. Okay, farewell. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, kids, <laughs> looks like I'm gonna stay here and uh, make sure you're safe. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I'm so glad that you're here and now you can see everything that I've been talking about. <laughs> and scene. Hey, y'all. I was thinking we could kill some time by doing some scene improvisations. You know, that's where we throw out characters and situations and the kids act them out. Oh, man, I know what scene improvisation is. Unlike some people, I'm in front of the camera. Oh, well, perhaps you'd like to join us. Oh, look, I'm not really in the mood, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't want to knock what you do here, but these kids aren't learning anything in your class that they can use in the real world. I just want my daughter to have something to fall back on. I feel you, Mr. Washington. <sighs> Acting isn't for everyone. But then again, everyone isn't an actor. Oh, come on, Darius. Between you and me, anybody can act. Check this out. Scared flex. Oh, Lord! <laughs> and scene. Yeah, you know, that wasn't that bad. You really should come join us on this improv. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing a scene with my daughter. Can it be a death scene? <laughs> Brianna, you should take the stage with your father. Yeah, come on. Hello. Hey, it's snowing pretty bad out here. I just wanted to make sure you had your snow chains on. Uh, yeah, how far away are you, Pop? I don't know. But it sounds like I'm getting close. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, everybody. That was my dad checking on me because he cares about his child. Just like I care about my child. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> You will not go crazy, Dwayne. Being alone will not make you go crazy. And you will not start talking to yourself. You're talking to yourself. No, you're not. Stop it. No, you stop it. This is Papa overtime, working past his normal shift because no one can get here. Not the overpaid drive time DJ or my program director. Hey, 
I can play what I want. Hey, this is Baltimore. Expand your musical minds with some vintage Big Band. You're both stranded in a lifeboat. And Brianna, you're starting to get really hungry. And go! I got a better idea. Brianna's a high-powered attorney trying to free her wrongfully imprisoned client, and I'm a secretary. And go. Bring me the file on Mr. Any Blackman. <laughs> We're gonna take his case to the Supreme Court of Appeals. Appeals? I'm sorry. You're using big words. I don't have a college degree. You don't need a college degree as long as you're good at what you do. Just put the files on my desk. I'm sorry, Miss Lawyer. If only I had learned something more practical in school, I might be more useful. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to fire me and put me back on the welfare. Mr. Blackman is counting on us to free him. It would be nice if I could just have your support right now. It's kind of hard to support something that you don't believe in. Do you have a backup plan? What if your case doesn't work out the way you want it to? I'll never know until I try. I just wish you would believe in me as much as I do. You mean Mr. Blackman? He know who I mean. <laughs> Have you seen Brianna? I've been looking all over for her and I can't find her. She's not in the girls' locker room. <laughs> not that I was either. <laughs> Pop, is that you? I can't believe you made it to the storm. Why did you come down to the school? I came here to save my son, whom I figured would be here trying to save his daughter. I was trying, but she didn't want to have anything to do with me. What'd you do this time? It's this acting thing, Pop. I can't believe she's throwing away her life. Oh, son, as a parent, you're always questioning your children's decisions. And why all of a sudden you have a problem with her acting? You sent her to an art school. <laughs> See? Right there, I am questioning your decision to question your daughter's decisions. It's the circle of life. Pop, I just want her to keep her options open, but this, this Darius guy, her, her drama teacher, keeps feeding her this pipe dream. Oh, I see. Another man in her life. Another adult she thinks is cooler than you are. Oh, uh, hold on now, I didn't say that. No, you didn't have to. Look, son, I remember when you first started to dominate on the court, it was Coach Wilson says this, and Coach Wilson says that. Oh, I hated that Coach Wilson. Yeah, why didn't you like him? He was great. That's why I didn't like him, because you liked him. I even thought you liked him more than me. I blamed him for putting those dreams of playing pro ball in your head so I could have somebody to blame for losing you. You worried about losing me, Pop? 
Doesn't every parent worry about losing a child? I don't, I don't wanna lose Brianna, Dad. You're gonna lose her for a little bit, but she'll come back just like you did. <laughs> what? Oh. Where? oh, where's Grandma? Is she with you? No, I couldn't pull her out of that casino. I'm picking her up in a week. <laughs> Good news. The storm's lifted and the roads are being plowed. We can go home. Finally. All right, get your stuff. I'm going to drive you home. Oh, no, it's okay, Dad. We're going to stay after school and work on those monologues with Darius. So that's Darius, huh? Yeah. I don't like him either. Wayne, wake up! Baby, are you catching a cold? Hey, Dwayne. Hey, Doug. Wake up, man. You all right? Oh, man. Oh, must have been dreaming. what I want, a relationship. Are you seriously thinking about doing it with Calvin? Oh my God, you're back! Hi, doctor. Hi. Oh, look who's sneaking in at 5 a.m. We're not sneaking in. We sneaking out. <laughs> Michelle, have you lost your mind? Now you go outside and cut me a switch. <laughs> We saw you two on a boardwalk. We would have killed you there, but there would have been too many witnesses. So you saw us on the boardwalk. But not on the beach blanket, right? Because nothing happened there. Or behind the chair stand. Arnez, you've been lying to me all along. You told me there was nothing going on between you and Michelle. And there wasn't. I mean, yes, we were attracted to each other, but we never acted on it. Oh, so you just came back to polish his tonsils with your tongue? <laughs> cheering all night trying to get Andrew to have sex with me and nothing. Does he know how many quarterbacks I've sacked with this outfit? <laughs> oh, did I come at a bad time? I'll just cheer myself out. Ready? Okay. N-O-S-E-F. No sex! Woo! This is one strange ass household, people. <laughs> Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. I'll be fast as it can then. Why don't you let we are Living one, no one, one, no one. Can't nobody break this bond. Living one, no one. Now we have a Can you please tell Cash that that poster doesn't matter? He wasn't getting girls before, and he's not about to get any now. <laughs> yeah, Cash, he's right. You can't blame that poster for your bad haircut. It's not about getting girls or my haircut, which I believe is quite stylish. I should have never sold out. Now I'm just a joke. Cash, you're overreacting. You were a joke before the poster. <laughs> and besides, you were just a model. It's not like everybody thinks you're a wimp who actually got beat up by a girl. Oh, by the way, Benji, he's paying for my coffee. Um, what? Don't sass me, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. You're the guy from the domestic abuse poster. Yes, I am. So hit me with your best shot. I better leave me in stitches. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to tell you that you've inspired me to do something about my own problem. Thank you. Ha ha. As if I haven't heard that one before. Same to you, lady. <laughs> so, Benjamin, look, I could really use your help, man. You a nerd, right? No, excuse me. Only fellow nerds can use the N word. Hey, <laughs> uh, what's up, my nerd? <laughs> look, I was just hoping you could hack into youadog.com, the website, and see who posted my picture, man. 
Can I hack into a website? Who do you think brought Napster down? So I take that as a yes? Yes. Yes. And I am almost done. Bingo! Okay, uh, do you know... Yo, I thought you had it, man. Uh, yeah, no, I, I thought so, too. But then I got this uh, virus warning, and I can't take any chances with Lola. Hey, Benjamin. I'll take a soy latte. Uh, so, Lisa, mm -hmm. if you like D-Max so much, why don't you put him on youadog.com, Filipino cutie 7521. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not telling him. I, I don't want to get you into trouble. Wow. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. This is a shakedown, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's just... I, I did it because I think you're a nice person. You know, when you're not trying to ruin other people's lives. <laughs> Okay, I was thinking, since we had such a great time together, mm -hmm. when the summer's over, why don't I go to Paris with you? Wait a minute. You leave L.A.? Yeah, sure. You know, I came to L.A. to be with Brianna. That's over. The further I can get away from her, the easier it'll be for us. Me and you in Paris. To get away from Brianna, huh? Yeah, I know. It sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Imagine you and me in Paris. At the Eiffel Tower, the pyramids. No, wait, that's in Vegas, right? They don't teach geography at the guitar college, do they? Oh, no, they do. But I can never find the class. Sarah? Bonsoir. I am here to turn down your bed. I may even fall in. Sarah, I told you this isn't about sex fantasies. I I'm through with that. I just want to get to know you. Uh, I knew I should have worn my princess. Geisha. Naughty INS agent outfit. Ah, <laughs> uh, fine. Let's just get to know each other. <laughs> This is so nice, Arnez. Wow. You just called me Arnez. What? No, no, I didn't. Why would I do that? I know who you are. You're Calvin. Calvin, Calvin, Calvin. You're reading my name tag, aren't you? Look, even if I did call you Arnez, it was completely innocent. It's just that I'm so mad at him because after all these years, I thought I could trust him. And now I think Michelle is the reason that we broke up. You know what, Brianna, Brianna, Brianna? <laughs> I've got some work to do for my McDonald's training seminar in the morning. Maybe we should call it a night. On, oh, Calvin, I'm sorry I called you Arnez. Look, let's just get past this. Ooh, look. Hot babe on the couch. <laughs> <sighs> look, I've got my life together, OK? I've got a career I love. I know where I'm headed, and I know how I feel about you. But I can't be with someone who's holding on to the past. But I thought we really liked each other. I do really like you. But I'm tired of having to deal with Inez. So you're going to have to choose me or him. Hey, you home early? I guess food is not the only thing Calvin does fast. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens when you're making out with your boyfriend and you allegedly call him Arnez. <laughs> Damn. But that's what happens when you're stuck. Stuck? On Arnez? <laughs> Negro, please. <laughs> Look, here's some advice, all right? I've seen plenty of girls who are stuck, usually on me. <laughs> so I know until you get over Arnez, no guy is going to want to deal with you. And it won't be their fault, because you're stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Well, you know what? Yeah, my hand is kind of stuck. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> hey, 
Andrew? I, uh, we did have a date tonight, right? Uh, there's been a change of plans. We're not going out again. Ever. Really? You're giving up and trying to have sex with me? Yeah. I've run out of costumes. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. You don't want me? Damn, that's hot. It's not you, it's... Hey, what did you say? <laughs> Ever since I came to L.A., women have done nothing but throw themselves at me. Unfortunately, I cooperated. <laughs> but you want nothing to do with me. You don't even care if I see you at your worst. This is your worst, right? <laughs> ah, who cares? Where's your bedroom? Through there. I mean, put me down, you ass. Yes, yes, yes. I'm off of you a dog.com, which means this hound is back on the booty trail. <laughs> Gotta go, there it is. <laughs> Lisa, if you like the guy, make a move. Take your shot now before some other desperate woman snatches him up. You know what? I am gonna make my move. <sighs> hey. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> that was uh, a, a nice thing you did, taking BMAC off that site. Uh, it was nothing, and I'm over him. Oh, really? Sometimes you just don't know a good thing, even when it's right under your nose. So tell me, Benjamin, what's underneath your nose? Uh, the hint of a mustache? Stop playing and kiss me, you fool! Okay. <gasps> wow, I'm gonna tear you apart. Remember me? Ah, uh, the return of Ms. Sarcasm. I just wanted to thank you for changing my life. Oh, wait, you're serious? Of course. You gave me the strength to do what I needed to do about my boyfriend. You left him? No. He cheated on me, so I kicked the crap out of him. <laughs> now, you and I are going to celebrate. I don't think that's... Now! A... Okay. <laughs> Save me. Hey, baby. What's in the bag? Art supplies. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to my parents' cabin and do some painting. Oh, uh, cool. Well, I get off in an hour, I can go with you. I'm gonna go by myself. I'm gonna need some time alone after I break up with you. What? All right, well, maybe I didn't put that in the best way. But why? Everything is great with us. I know, Arnez, but obviously it's not over between you and Brianna. I came back after two months thinking that you had moved on. But instead, you're looking to go all the way to Paris to run away from her and your feelings. Wait, hold on. I am over, Brianna. My feelings are for you. I wish I could believe that. I'm sorry, Arnez, but I've decided to spend the summer as a starving artist. That's why I'm going to fly to Mammoth tonight in my parents' jet. <laughs> So who are you not sleeping with tonight? You, for starters. I called Calvin. He's on his way over. I called him and told him I chose him over Arnez. So you still think I'm stuck? <laughs> stuck like Al Roker in a tube top. <laughs> what do you know, Scooby-Doo-Doo? Hey, I'm off of you a dog.com, OK? That means I got a new leash on life. Ah. <laughs> Are you okay? What is wrong with me? You do not want me to answer that. <laughs> Michelle dumped me. She doesn't think I'm over you. Yeah, well, there's a lot of that going around. I screwed up with you. I screwed up with her. I'm in LA. I don't even know why I'm here anymore. Well, we came out here to follow our dreams. You can still do that. Yeah, but you and I were part of that dream. Are you saying that Michelle is right? That we're not over each other? Look, Anna, sometimes I wonder if we should still be together. I don't know. Just give me a minute. Wow. 
Yana, you look amazing. Yeah, I know. Um... <laughs> look, Calvin, something's come up. Tell me about it. Look, Calvin, we might have to reschedule tonight. Wow, what's going on? Oh, well, it's Arnez. Michelle just dumped him, and he's in really bad shape. <sighs> Poor guy. Anyway, let's go. What? <laughs> I cannot leave him alone like this. Wait a minute. You called me. You said you chose me. He's still my friend, Calvin. Your ex-boyfriend? Maybe not so ex. Look, I'll call you. You already did that. No need to do it again. Bye, Arnaz. <laughs> Sarah? Hi. Uh, Ready for our date? Wait. Who's she? She's, uh... Actually, I don't remember her name. <laughs> She just moved into the building. Oh, and what are you doing? Giving her a welcome basket? <laughs> Sarah, I'm sorry. I thought one woman could be enough. But you let the freak out of the box. Cream. We're almost out. You don't think he got lost again, do you? <laughs> you guys see the moon tonight? It's beautiful. <laughs> Wait, are you glowing? <gasps> You've been with someone. <laughs> or something. <laughs> He's kind. He's smart. And I didn't make him up. <laughs> He's my Benjamin. Benjamin? The creepy blog manager? No, she means creepy in, in a good way. Like, oh, Benjamin is fly, fat, and stupid creepy. Uh -huh. Can I talk to you? Ooh, ice cream first, fool. Hey, is everything okay? Okay, so I've been thinking about what you said. You know, about being open to new dreams. Oh, good. And I know how hard thinking is for you. Thank you. I know what I want now. I want us to help each other achieve those dreams. I like that, Arnaz. So I was wondering, can I borrow your car? Because I'm going to chase Michelle to the mountains. What? Yeah. I mean, she's my new dream. And I'm going to make her see that the way that you made me see it. Wow, after all these years, I never thought I would be saying this, but if that's what you want, go for it. Don't forget to put gas in it. <laughs> You're gonna need some money, huh? Yeah. And can you draw me a map to the mountains? Sure, for an old friend, I do anything. Now go get your crayons. Yes. <laughs> Calvin's gone already? What, did that ice cream give you gas? Yeah, a little. <laughs> but no, we didn't even have our date. I had to stay here and babysit Arnez because your sister broke up with him. Oh, well, that's double good news. Michelle broke up with a loser, and I'm right again. You're stuck. <laughs> Am not. Are too. If I'm so stuck, why would I give Arnez the keys to my car to go chase after your sister? You let him go after my sister? Couldn't you have just had sex with him? <laughs> no, there is no more Arnez, no more Calvin. I'm free. You ain't really free. Yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. I'm telling you, I am so free, it's ridiculous. Now you free. <laughs> well, thanks for buying me a drink. Mm -hmm. I feel
feel better. Wait, are you going somewhere? Uh, I'm going to Benjamin's. But I'll be all alone. show. This week we're in Baltimore because, well, quite frankly, I was in the mood for some crab cakes. <laughs> Lean in. We about to be on camera. No, the Michelle McCall show is on the road looking for eligible single successful men. So for all you women who keep logging on to wheremyman.com, I've downloaded them right onto my stage. So let's meet the best of Baltimore, Luke Brune, venture capitalist and author of the bestseller, I Got Your Money. <laughs> Michael Green, volunteer fireman and owner of the city's premier eatery, Killer Crab. And Flex Washington, former pro basketball player and current sports anchor at WYNX. What's up, Baltimore? <laughs> When I say flat, you say that, flat, that, flat, that. When I say my, you say show, my, show, my, show. And we'll be right back. Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. is the Fladette man himself, Flex Washington. <laughs> Flex, apparently you're the guy W.Y. next goes to when no one else can get the story. Could it be those adorable dimples, lady? <laughs> Come on, smile for us. Oh, Come stop. on. <laughs> oh, look at that. You do blush. Oh, girl, I'm too proud to blush. <laughs> Sex and the single father. How do you work that? I don't. Because my daughter knows I've only had sex once in my life. To create her. <laughs> well, he's selling something, ladies. Who's buying? I don't know. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow when we'll meet Baltimore's hottest women. Not as much fun for me, but you guys will love it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, because if you didn't, I'd be at home with you. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your show. You know, I feel a little embarrassed, but uh, can I have your autograph? Sure. And, and could you make that out to my daughter, Brianna? Uh, that's F L E X. Are you always this charming? Only with very beautiful women, and when I'm late for work, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You're being charming again. <laughs> When do you stop? When you agree to have dinner with me. No, no, uh, I, I usually don't date the guests. And I don't blame you. I mean, I've seen some of your guests. You know, who would want to date a man who cried all the time, you know? <laughs> Unless he's crying from joy from a night of romance with you. I usually uh, don't do this, but I'm going to make an exception this time. <laughs> uh, but. We have to be discreet, or our dinner date would be the talk of the century. Don't worry, Michelle. Our secret is safe with me. What's 
Brianna? Where's Brianna? Where's your pride? Where's your dignity? <laughs> I got her the last sloppy Joe. There's nothing worse than a cold Joe. Oh, yeah, there is. A pathetic on this. <laughs> oh, here's my little love bug now. I got your Joe, extra sloppy with extra napkins. Arnez, you've got my lunch a hundred times. Have you ever seen me eat a sloppy Joe? Oh, I guess you're right. I'm giving spirit. She'll eat anything. <laughs> hey, you guys, meet Natasha. She just transferred from San Francisco. Dr. Gilks asked me to show her around and protect her from the riff raff, so meet Riff and Raff. <laughs> I'm Arnez, and this is Spirit. Spirit, you're just like Brianna described. You're different, and you take fashion chances. Thank you for recognizing, girl, but you'd be surprised what you could put together with what you find in the trash. <laughs> My mama's bathroom rug yesterday. A new coat today! <laughs> Brianna didn't tell me anything about you. Oh, I'm her dirty little secret. <laughs> no, you're my dirty little stalker. <laughs> See how much she loves me? Oh, uh, I gotta go to band practice. Oh, cool. Can I take along with you? That's where I'm going. Wait, you're in the band? Well, I'm trying out today. Bass drum. I play snare. Well, it sounds like you two drummers need to beat it. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Her. She kind of take the focus off Arnaz. Well, if she keeps taking Arnaz away, that might be even better. I mean, it's nice to be liked and everything, but he chewed my bun into the shape of a heart. Yeah, Michelle McCall is coming to my house tonight. I am the man. <laughs> okay, all right, checklist. Brianna, gone. Ant trail in the kitchen, gone. Underwear, gone. <laughs> Welcome to... Uh, my mama said I can't handle company. Sorry, Flex, it's just a precaution. Okay, you can go now. Oh, Flex, your place is so quaint. Oh, I love it. I get so tired of walking around my villa. It's so nice to see everything in just... One room. <laughs> well, uh, later on, we can uh, jump in the dishwasher and take a little steam. <laughs> I can already tell I'm going to love being with a sweet young thing like you. <laughs> now, where's your bathroom so I can freshen up? Oh, uh, third door on the left. And please, ignore the teenage panties hanging on the shower. I have a daughter, not a fetish. <laughs> Why don't we go to Bleak and Bills? I hear they have the city's biggest selection of vintage vinyls. Girl, Arnett is always dragging me to that place. You gotta take three buses and walk four blocks just to get there. Mm -mm. I have my car. Okay, I'm out of excuses. I just hate that place. <laughs> then I guess it's just us two, sweet cakes. Okay, pumpkin. I wanna get Lenny's album. Oh, oh, the first Soundgarden album. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna grab that one. Sweet cakes. Pumpkin. Oh, Alex, I'll take dumb pet names for 200, please. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, the attitude girl. Is your bra on backwards? <laughs> no, it's just that I found her first, and she's not paying no attention to me. Are you sure that's what it's about? Yeah, what else would it be about? Rihanna, hey, listen, I just want to make sure you're okay with me hanging out with Arnaz. Sure, why do I care? I know he has a thing for you, and I don't know if you like him and you're just playing hard to get. Not hard, Natasha, girl. Impossible. <laughs> Arnaz does nothing for me. We're just friends. Good, because I really like him. He's fine, he's sexy, and he smells like peaches. <laughs> uh, who would smell Arnaz? That girl is tripping. <laughs> she ain't the only one. <laughs> Who's that eating that nasty food? Uh, nasty boy. <laughs> Good morning. Ugh, nasty boy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, did we sleep well? Did we sleep? Oh. <laughs> All right, you finish the eggs. I'll get the paper. We'll get back in bed and make love over easy. <laughs> Just as long as it's not over. 
quickly. Oh, you know how to roll like that. <laughs> Get into a cat fight with Oprah, Oprah. Oprah, Oprah, Oprah. Is there no other black woman in America? Uh, hi. Flex, how does it feel to be Michelle Flynn's boy toy? Is it true you're her future baby's daddy? <laughs> I have a state. As a fellow member of the press, I find your behavior unethical, immoral, and just plain stanky. <laughs> now, if you're gonna shoot me, at least you can get my good side. Go ahead. Okay, Flex. Now, you promised me you wouldn't tell anybody. Oh, I've been down this road before. Okay, so who did you tell? I, I, I swear, I didn't tell anyone. Well, uh, except my best friend, Dwayne. And he would never keep a secret to save his life. I'm a little insulted that you didn't think to mention it to me. I'm a little bit insulted that you didn't want the world to know about us. I'm a celebrity, too. Of course you are, dear. <laughs> Flex, do you realize your life is about to become an open book because of me? Don't you think we're strong enough to fight off the press? Baby, I can handle the press. I am the press. <laughs> no, Flex. These people are vultures. They've been picking at me for years. Well, that's because you're one of the richest women in America. It comes with the territory. Daddy, what's up with all the reporters? <laughs> hey, Daddy, you didn't tell me that was your date. Oh, oh my God, my pennies are hanging in the bathroom. I'll be back. <laughs> Well, um, now that it's all out in the open, we might as well go public. Mm -hmm. Do you want to escort me to the governor's reception tomorrow night? Oh, I would love to, as long as you promise to. <laughs> is that why they call you Flex? <laughs> <laughs> Again, cleaning each other like cats. <laughs> Dang, Arnaz, get a girl some room, let her breathe. You can just keep that gun, baby. <laughs> well, hello, guys. Haven't seen you in a couple of days. Sorry, Brianna. I've been lost in the wonderful world of Natasha. <laughs> well, I'm getting lost in the wonderful world of vomit if they don't stop doing that. <laughs> Uh, well, my little love bug, it's time for me to walk you to class. Oh, good, because these books are so heavy. <laughs> Dang, girl, didn't he used to walk you to class? <laughs> hey, baby, why the long face? Because I was tired of the short one. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, I know that look. I see it in my mirror every day. Now. You've been rejected, huh? That's all right. You must be an emotional wreck, huh, baby? Huh? Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Come here. Who rejected Daddy's baby? I don't know. I, I can't even say it. Anyway, you can't be rejected by someone you never wanted. Who, who did you never want? Nobody. I don't know. Somebody. <laughs> all right. Come on. Tell Daddy what's going on. Okay. So you know how Arnest is always getting on my nerves, doing stuff for me, right? Getting my lunch, walking me to class, doing my chores. Okay, you didn't hear the last one. <laughs> anyway, he doesn't do that stuff for me anymore ever since Miss Natasha came along with her perfect little personality, all friendly and nice and stuff. And anyway, he does not smell like peaches. He smells like apricots. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. This is just crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You have feelings for Arnaz. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Daddy, I don't know. T tell me what's going on. Okay, well, I don't want to encourage this, but if you really, really like Arnaz, and I hope you don't, <laughs> you got to talk to him, because there's nothing worse than watching somebody you care about fall for someone else. But, Daddy, you're not listening to me. I don't like him. I need someone to walk me to class, carry my books, and tell me how fine I am six times a day. 
My baby's got it bad. You look so dazzling in that tux. Damn, I got good taste. <laughs> Usually, I'm not used to a delivery man showing up at my door, except with a pizza, you know, occasionally a subpoena. <laughs> but never a designer tux with a pair of diamond cufflinks. <laughs> Mama takes care of her baby, doesn't she? <laughs> Shelly, you wicked thing. Mwah. I see you found something new to play with. Donatella, stop it. <laughs> Flex, I want you to meet my producers. And girls, you remember Flex, the very successful sportscaster? <gasps> that, that's sports anchor, number one sportscast from 11.15 to 11.23, Monday through Friday. Thank you very much. <laughs> and girls, it doesn't hurt that he's only... 33. <laughs> what a workout! <laughs> uh, hey, excuse me, Shelly. Uh, your little Billy Blanks would like to talk to you for a minute. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to feel like a piece of meat, and I don't like it. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Now, you know us women. We get together, toss back the sauce, and become dirty girls. <laughs> but, um... And you can discipline me next week when we're in the Cayman Islands. Vacation? I got a job. It's hard for me to get time off. And what about Brianna? I mean, I know you don't have kids, but I can't just walk off and leave her. Didn't you do a show about that? Hey, <laughs> you want this to work, right? How does a million five a year sound? For doing what? Whatever you want. As long as you do it with me. <laughs> I was thinking my new public relations director. What? Wait a minute. Mm, I have mm. my own job, and I don't... Wait a minute, baby, not now. Wait a minute. <laughs> the cameras are upon us. Come on. Pose. So, Mr. Washington, how does it feel to be dating one of the most powerful women in America? Uh, I don't know. Shelly, why don't you tell her how I feel? <laughs> Did the right thing, Daddy. She can't rule you. You are Flex Washington. I don't know why saying your first and your last name means something, but it does. Thanks, baby. Who does she think she is offering me over a million dollars to be her public relations director? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm only a child, but someday when I'm going to an expensive college and bleeding you dry, you're gonna regret this. <laughs> Must be here to see my daddy. Well, you know what? Anytime you in town, you want to have a cup of coffee and reminisce over the good times, okay? Call me, okay? <laughs> that was um quite some exit you made. Yeah, it would have been a lot more dramatic if I had remembered I was riding with you. <laughs> Flex, you said you can handle being my man. Well, I can handle being your man. I don't think you can handle being my woman. I've done it again, haven't I? I've taken a good man and emasculated him. Just, just shriveled you up into a little eunuch. Oh, ho, 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 hold on now. Not even in the coldest of water do I shrivel. <laughs> but I want to thank you, Michelle, because you helped me realize that I need to be king in my own castle. Flex, I don't know what a woman like me is supposed to do. I can provide for myself. I can provide for you. Hell, I can provide for half of California. <laughs> No offense, Michelle, but you have control issues. It's like Dr. Gill says on your show. Oh, that quack, he been divorced eight times. <laughs> Michelle, I think what you've accomplished in your life is wonderful. But if you want a man like me, I mean, you, you gotta learn how to turn off all that. I'm Michelle McCall. I'm the woman in charge. Listen to me, I got diamonds, I got everything, I got a villa, all that. You gotta turn it off. Like, I can do that. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> Well, I guess this is where we say goodbye. Take care of yourself, Lex. I had a wonderful time. And you are a sweet, sweet lady. Gary 
Coleman is, not my uncle. Hey, Daddy. And so what happened? You found a way for Michelle to adopt you without me? No, even better. Arnest is on his way over here with some cotton candy, my earth science notes, and my library books. I got my power back. I got my power back. Take that, Natasha. Brianna's powers activate. <laughs> And you're feeling real confident, huh? Yeah. It'd be great if you used those powers to clean the tub. <laughs> Daddy, you so funny. Uh... <laughs> hey, what's up? There you go. There's your science book and your notes. What about the cotton candy? Oh, sorry. I, I forgot. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow at school. Wait, 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 hold up. Where you going? I thought we was gonna hang out. I got some stuff for us to do. Well, I can't. Someone's waiting for me. But, uh, I'll see you later, okay? Oh, and, uh, thanks for introducing me to Natasha. I really like her, and she actually likes me. all the lights. Your hair doesn't look that bad. No, we're having a romantic evening together and watching the fight. Yeah, yeah that's cute, honey, but uh, fights and romance don't go together, uh, unless you're in Thailand with 20 bucks. And I guess my new bustier isn't appropriate either. Oh, it's very appropriate. Uh, any chance I could get you to stand next to the TV? Baby, you make me so hot. Oh, hey, Natalie. Um, Daddy, I need to ask you a favor. There's a few bucks in my wallet. You can stay out till midnight. If you break curfew, you better be bleeding. Daddy, I want to throw a slumber party for Spirit's birthday. Can I? Go for the air. Go for the air. Daddy, please. I'm her best friend, and it's her sweet 16. Oh, not the rest, ear. Natalie, can you please help me? Sure, Brianna. What? Woman, are you crazy? We're in the middle of the fight. Flex, a sweet 16 slumber party is a rite of passage. It's the last time girls get to be girls. You're already 16, aren't you? <laughs> Not me, Daddy Spirit. So? <sighs> Fine, yes, whatever it takes to get the fight back on. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I'm about to tell Spirit right now. Where did you want me to stand? That fight was pay-per-view, baby. You better get to dance. <laughs> She turned off your TV at your house? Play, I hope she tripped over the court. <laughs> she got her hands on the remote. Oh! oh! What happened to my life? It's been so long since I've been in a relationship, I forgot about all the stuff you have to do. Like, talking. <laughs> Sometimes the background music in my head drowns her out, but I'm pretty sure she's still talking. <laughs> When I was with Stacy, you know, we used to go to the mall and spend the whole day just talking. <laughs> you know, we'd browse a little, then, uh, then we'd split a Cinnabon and laugh at all the single, lonely people. <laughs> now I eat the whole one by myself and watch people laugh at me. Dwayne, baby, it doesn't matter what you do. People gonna laugh at you anyway. <laughs> so, yo, Flex, how'd you get away today? I let her know that it's no longer sat her day, it's sat him day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the king of my cats. That's how I play that. Guys, Flex, you ready to go antiquing? Ooh, antiquing. I, I thought that was Sunday. Hmm, obviously, it was sat her day. <laughs> I love antiquing. You have to go to Yona's down on Charles Street. They have the best collection of Rococo. Rococo? Does that come with shrimp or chicken? <laughs> oh, here's a crazy thought. 
uh, Dwayne, why don't you go antiquing with Natalie while I help walk with that thing he needs me to do? What thing? It's a private thing. <laughs> I don't mind telling. <laughs> Flex is gonna give me $200 to start a fund for handicapped horses at Pimlico. I'm telling y'all, nothing is sadder than a horse in a wheelchair. <laughs> Just say you don't want to go, Flex. Wow, babe. I think it here, and it comes out there. <laughs> we make a great team. <laughs> Come on, Dwayne. Oh, this is going to be so great. <laughs> I hope you like Cinnabon. <laughs> hey, did you two have fun antiquing? <laughs> Can you say Nirvana? <laughs> well, it sounds like we all had the perfect day. What did you do, baby? Absolutely nothing. In my underwear. <laughs> Can you say... Nirvana. <laughs> so, baby, are you ready to go to dinner? Yep. Dwayne, I had a wonderful time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Nat needs help planting azaleas on her balcony. Unless you want to help me, Flex. Oh, no. Uh, I, I mean, you know, you need a green thumb to garden. Uh, I, I, mine's black. <laughs> but I'll come by and admire your azaleas later. <laughs> this is sweet. We make a great team. We do, don't we? Yeah, yeah, us, us too. <laughs> Please turn this music down. I'm trying to watch the game. Oh, pizza. <laughs> so, Daddy, which color do you like best? Passion fusion or fusion passion? Uh, which everyone doesn't smell like a uh, dumpster. <laughs> Thanks for ruining my appetite. Oh, Daddy, are we bothering you? <sighs> my head hasn't hurt this bad since your mother said I do. <laughs> I'm going across the hall to your Uncle Dwayne's. If somebody chokes or there's a fire, your grandma's phone number is on the fridge. Wait, are you sure you want to go? We're about to pluck, and you can use a tweed. I got to go. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Oh, girl, I thought he would never leave. <laughs> oh, look, there's boys crashing our party. OK, Spirit, lock the door. We got two hours before the basketball game is over. <laughs> Guys, what a great surprise. What? You told us to come. You even gave us Banaka. Let's get it on. <laughs> oh, on, Tiger. Y'all just eye candy. Now follow my lead, OK? Ah, the boys can't stop party. It's wild teenage hygiene. Look at you, This is how I like it. A man and his best friend chilling, watching the game, you know? You know, no teenagers plucking eyebrows. A girlfriend trying to control a remote. <laughs> you know, just two men hanging, caveman style. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Natalie, what are you doing here? Dwayne and I just got back from Flower Mart. Remember, I told you they were having a sale on hydrangeas, and then you told me to say hi to Dranger. Man, I'm funny even when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Man, thanks for the Flower Mart thing. You are saving my life. <laughs> Man, what are friends for? And that dog is cool. You know, last night, when we went to that one-woman play, Taste My Tears, <laughs> well, we laughed, <laughs> then we cried. <laughs> I'm so cleansing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Natalie, I thought you said you were going to see that play with one of your girlfriends. Uh, all my girlfriends do is complain about how there are no good men left. Dwayne never does that. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne, I forgot to tell you, I got us tickets for the car show tomorrow. What? Yeah, they got the James Bond Thunderbird there. I hear Halle Berry's butt print is still in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but Dwayne, don't forget, you promised tomorrow with the whole Mexpo. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flex, but a promise is a promise. <laughs> but the first 500 people get a free wicker parasol. <laughs> I'll get you one, too. Oh, why don't you keep it for yourself? Every man should have a pair of something. OK, my turn. I never hid in a boy's closet. Ooh, no. me neither. <laughs> Yeah, the first three things. I was just sort of hungry. Uh, okay, my turn. I never kissed Arnez. Mm. All right, all right. You got to kiss a few frogs before you get your prince. Go, 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 go. What do you mean? You kissed Arnaz? When did you kiss Arnaz? 
Uh-oh. <laughs> it, it was a long time ago. Well, why didn't you ever tell me? I don't know. I guess I forgot. You forgot? How could you forget? Yeah, how could you forget? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> well, there must be some reason why you wouldn't tell your best friend. It doesn't really matter what happened back then. What matters is that you didn't tell me, Jezebel. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever. Can we just get back to the game? Fine. <laughs> I never <laughs> should have thrown this party for you. Ooh. OK. <laughs> My turn. I never should have let you. <laughs> What was so important, Flex? I don't like you and Dwayne spending so much time together. I'm sorry, but it's over. What? You and I are breaking up? No, you and Dwayne are breaking up. <laughs> oh, I see. Listen, sweetie, I've been through this before, and you're just gonna have to get used to it. <sighs> you're dating someone who's kind of attractive. <laughs> Unfortunately, men are drawn to me. Let's face it, this has caused many a car pile up. I'm not worried about you. I got you. This is about Dwayne, little Miss Fender Bender. He was my friend first. Oh, you should be ashamed. You're acting worse than a teenage girl. No, I'm not. I can't believe you're acting like this, Brianna. Arnaz was my friend first. <laughs>
No, men don't wear T-shirts with you who stains on them. <laughs> and anyway, you shouldn't be talking about stuff you don't know about. Oh, I think I know plenty. Are you sure this isn't about us and the fact that it was me she kissed? Huh? 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 Uh, excuse me, don't flatter yourself. This is strictly a girl thing. Here's the girlfriend rule. You don't kiss a guy and then let me kiss the guy without telling me that you kissed the guy first. <laughs> Spirit and I have history. We've done a lot of things together. We even took a bath together when we were three. You want to get mad at her for that, too? Or maybe you want to get even? Honest, just go. <laughs> Brianna, you're a lucky girl. Because you have so many friends, you can just throw a good one away. Are you sick or something, man? I'm used to beating you, but 15 or nothing, twice? You okay? <laughs> man, you were just on fire today. You were the racquetball king of the world. See ya. Hey, man. <laughs> What's your rush? There's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie playing down at the Cineplex. I hear this time he's battling arthritis. What's going on with my finger? <laughs> as much as I'd love to, man, I have got to get to work. Again? You've been working like a dog all week. Oh, I get it. Dwayne's place. Hello? Hello? I think I dialed the wrong number. Hmm. Who, who was it? I don't know. They hung up. Huh. Well, I've been getting a lot of those lately. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, 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 hi, Mama. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just here with Flex. Yeah. You remember Flex, don't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> what? what? You're locked in the freezer, are you? Oh, okay, I'll be there right away. <laughs> I keep telling that woman, keep the Klondike bars up front. <laughs> See ya. Uh, you want some help? Oh, no, 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 no. When mama gets stuck in the freezer, she kind of, you know, freaks out. <laughs> and she's usually naked, so. <laughs> mama likes it when I look nice. Hmm, <laughs> he's never been in a rush to get her out of the freezer before. Strange calls, people hanging up. Let's see who Star 69 gets us. Victoria's Tea House. Victoria's Tea House? Those two timing tea guzzlers? Excuse me? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I meant to think that. Hi. Here's all your stuff. W wait. Is my red bell sleeve top in here? You mean my dad's oil rag? <laughs> oh, I remember this. Our t-shirt from Six Flags. We rode every roller coaster that day. Oh, look, there's your lunch. <laughs> Is this your way of trying to say you're sorry? Maybe. It's just that since we're best friends, I thought you would have told me about kissing Arnez. Rihanna, that kiss with Arnez was nothing. We were 11 and playing spin the bottle. So, he didn't smell like peaches back then? More like old soda. <laughs> so, girl, are we friends again? No. <laughs> okay, we are now. Okay. <laughs> okay, girl, it's been four days. We need to catch up. Do you think our drama might have been because you still have feelings for Arnes? Do you want your birthday present? Won't bring it up again. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for waiting for me, Natalie. Flex just needed his Dwayne time. Don't we all? Wait until you taste this marmalade to die for. Everything just looks lovely. I Aha! <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, Flex, it's not what you think. Oh, oh, it's not. Well, I think my best friend and my girlfriend are sneaking around behind my back having hot tea. Okay, it's what you think. <laughs> Flex, calm down. Calm down? How, how, how could you do this to me? Shh, yourselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flex. It's, once I tasted the sweet nectar of feminine sophistication, I, I just couldn't let it go. Oh, really? So this, this tea sipping is worth risking 30 years of friendship? You get scones, too. Yeah, well, I hope they come with memories. You know, I should join you two and suck in some of this sophistication. Ooh, I'd stab a buddy in the back for this. OK, Flex, that's enough. Now, we've been best friends ever since you carjacked my hippity hop. <laughs> you're my best friend, but you're not my only friend. You just have to accept the fact that I have lots of friends, and now I've made a new one in Natalie, who allows me to express my 
civilized self. I can be civilized. Shh. No more strawberries, Henry. Flex, don't you think it's unfair for you to expect Dwayne to be at your beck and call? He's not at my beck and call. He's just always there when I call. Why can't you just share him, Flex? It's not like you don't have plenty of other friends. But, but what? Look, I know plenty of people, and I have other buddies, but I only have one friend. When you meet your best friend at four, you don't exactly have to make other friends. Oh, well, Flex, I feel the same way. But you said you had lots of friends. Yeah, I said I have lots of friends, but not lots of friend friends. I mean, Natalie's cool and all, but she wouldn't get one of my kidneys. <laughs> what? Oh, I might give you a ride to the airport or help you move, but an organ? Ooh, baby, find a healthy cousin. <laughs> You'd really do that for me? Absolutely. I mean, you're my dog. I'm sorry, I was tripping, man. It, you know what? I won't get in the way of this yah yah sisterhood. Uh, yah yah! <laughs> yah yah! So that means we're on for the yarn show tomorrow. Oh, hey, yarn show. Oh, pfft. oh, Natalie, yarn? <laughs> well, this brother draws the line at yarn. <laughs> Auto show? Uh, Halle's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my ticket. I'll meet you by the crochet booth. Hey, Frenchie, uh, let me get some of them scones. Excuse me? I want some scones, man, scones! Uh, with, with some whipped cream, too. That's Devonshire. Yeah, 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 some of that, some of that. Put the flat up, man. What's that over there? You have not seen me. Turn around, turn around! Oh, <laughs>